Thank you so much for watching Suman TV. Thanks a lot for choosing Learning Vedic Maths. And my name is Satish Kanakala. I am Vedic Maths teacher trainer. I help teachers, parents, housewives who want to become a certified Vedic Maths trainer. Okay. So before we get into becoming a before we get into the, becoming a certified Vedic Maths trainer, and you need to understand what is Vedic Maths and how Vedic Maths will help children and what is the difference between Vedic Mathematics and Conventional Maths. So please watch my series of videos. You'll understand the difference between a Vedic Maths and Conventional Maths. In this video, I'm going to explain one concept of Vedic Maths, which is two by two. Two digits multiply with two digits. And one more important point, and Vedic Maths is a combination of multiple sutras. By learning all sutras, okay, there are 16 sutras, by learning all sutras, you will be able to do any kind of calculation, and which is very simple and very easy. So in this, I am teaching you one sutra and one logic. The name of the method is dot method. Some people called as dot method, some people called as some people called as crisscross method. Okay, crisscross method. So look at this multiplication. Okay, look at this multiplication. This dot method will help you to solve any two digit number multiply with any two digit number or any two digit number multiply with any one digit number. Look at it. I'll start explaining with the small numbers 24 multiply with 23. So there are three steps in this dot method. Step one, uh, before you understand the concept, write down the steps like this, dot method, steps. First, I'll explain with steps, then I'll explain without steps. Step one is going to be multiply units place into units place. Four into three, four into three is 12. 12, write down the two here, one will be carry. One will be carry. Step two, multiply units place into tens place and units place into tens place. What is units place? 3 into 2, 3 into 2, 6, 4 into 2, 8, 8 plus 6, 14, 14, 1 carry, 15, 1, 5. So write down the 5 in the answer, 1 will be carry, again 1 will be carry. Step 3, step 3 is multiply units place or uh, tens place into tens place. 2 into 2, 4, already 1 carry, 4 plus 1, 5, 5, 5, 2 is the answer, simple. So when you are listening first time, looks like difficult than what we know, because we are doing two digits multiplication since grade 2, grade 3, since childhood. So first time, it looks difficult, looks very difficult, right? Watch complete the video, watch complete the video. So you'll understand how it, how simple it is. How simple it is. Next, one more question. 34 multiply with 26. I'll explain this problem also, steps. This problem also in steps. Next problem onwards, I don't write any steps on the board. Please copy the steps for better understanding. Step one, multiply units place into units place. Four six are 24. So write down the four, two will be carry. Two will be carry. Step two, step two will be one's place into tens place and one's place into tens place. Six threes are 18, four twos are eight. 8 plus 18, 26. 
26 plus 2 carry 28. 26 plus 2 carry 28. Write down the 8. Again 2 will be carry. Right. So step 3. Step 3 is going to be tens place into tens place. That is 3 into 2. 6. 6 to carry 8. 8. So the answer is going to be 8, 8, 4 is the answer. Hope you understood. If you didn't understand, please back the video and watch step by step again. I'll explain without steps. Without steps, I, I'll do it steps in mind. I'll do it steps in the mind. 43, 26. 43, 26. Step 1. Step 1. Units place into units place. 3, 6 are 18. Write down the 1 carry. 8 in the answer. You should not write even 1, but I'm just explaining you to understand. But next, uh, after 2, 3 problems, I don't write any steps. Right? So, 3, 6 are 18. Write down the 8. 1 will be carry. Step 2. 4, 6 are 24. 3, 2 are 6. 24 plus 6. 30. 1 carry. 31. Write down the 1. 3 carry. Step 3. 4, 2 are 8. 3 carry. 4, 2 are 8. 3 carry. 8 plus 3. 11. 1, 1, 1, 8 is the answer. Very simple. Very simple. Next. Next. Hope you understood the concept. Next. 37 multiply with 44. 37 multiply with 44. Little big numbers, so big values. Step 1. 7 fours are 28. 28, 2, 8. Write down the 8 and 2 will be carry. Step 2. 4, twos, four threes are 12. 7 fours are 28. 28 plus 12, 40. 40, 2 carry, 42. So write down the 2, 4 carry. Step 3. 3 fours are 12. 12 plus, 12 plus 4, 16. 1, 6, 2, 8 is the answer. 1, 6, 2, 8 is the answer. Hope you understood. Hope you understood the concept. Any number with any number. So now we'll do it without writing anything in the anything on the whiteboard. Okay, anything on the whiteboard, anything in the paper. If you not understand anything, just please watch again. 76 multiply with 37. So doing big big numbers. Six sevens are six sevens are. 42. Step 1. Write in the 4. 2. 4 is a carry. Write in the 2. Step 2. 7 7s are 49. Plus 6 3s are 18. Already 4 in the carry. So when 49 plus 18, how to add in the mind? So there is a concept in additions in Vedic maths. Just if you learn the additions concept, you can solve very easily. So 49 plus 18. How do I solve? I add 1 less 1. 49, 50. 50 plus 17. 67. 67, 4 in the carry. 71. 71, write on the 1. 7 will be carry. Step 3. 7, 3 is 21. 21 plus 7. 28. 2, 8, 1, 2. That's it. How simply I'm solving the calculations? How simply I'm solving the calculation? But you know, when you're doing the step two, maybe you feel difficulty. No, after learning Vedic maths additions, and this is going to be also, this is going to be very easy. This is going to be very easy. I'll explain a one more problem on this same concept. On this same concept, okay? So this is the last problem. I hope you understood the concept. I hope you understood the concept, okay? 33 
multiply with 22 let's say 28 so three eights are 24 in the mind everything in the mind three eights are 24 right in the four two in the mind so two in the mind eight threes are 24 plus 6 30 2 in the mind 32 now 3 in the mind 2 in the answer step 3 3 in the mind 3 2s are 6 3 in the mind 9 9 2 4 so no steps everything in the mind the the importance of doing Vedic maths is solving calculations in the mind improving the concentration skills how will you improve the concentration skills understand the concept understand the concept and practice the concept and practice the concept till you get and then start implementing doing in the mind so i'll repeat three eights are 24 right in the four two in the mind three eights are 24 24 plus 6 30 32 2 in the answer 3 in the mind 3 twos are 6 6 plus 3 9 9 2 4 whatever the calculation we are doing it we are solving in the mind so this is the end results of Vedic maths not putting the dots not explaining step by step not calculations this is end results understand the concept practice the concept do it in the mind so let me do it one more problem and we'll close for now let me do it one more a problem on the same concept right uh, 64 33 or uh, 32 step one simple four twos are eight there is no carry eight so six twos are 12 four threes are 12 12 plus 12 24 right on the four two carry six threes are 18 two carry 20 202 eight is the answer that's it hope you understood the concept hope you understood the concept and uh, you know uh, i hope you see the difference between vedic maths and conventional maths practice more and more problems and uh, get do the calculations mentally happy learning thank you so much for watching and this is satish kanakala and signing off